Okay, welcome to Solomon's Place, aka Solo's Bachelor Pad. So here it is, here's my studio apartment. So let's check it out. All right, here is my bathroom on the left of me. Let me open up the door. So we got a normal standard bathroom, sink, toilet, which is kind of interesting about the toilet is it's Western style. Something to know is some Chinese homes when they have a Western style toilet, they'll have like one of those squatting potties, if you've ever seen it, which is healthier, but sometimes it can be uncomfortable. And then we also have the sink area over here, which I just said. Then we got me, hey guys. And what else do we got in my bathroom? Something interesting about my bathroom, there's a shower head over there, and then here's the toilet. And there's no separation in between, which kind of sucks, because sometimes when I take, usually when I take a shower actually, I have a lot of water on the ground. And also, you see on top, there's actually a hot water heater that in some apartments in China, you're actually gonna have which just, you know, obviously heats up the water, but the only thing is it doesn't heat up the water throughout my whole apartment, just where I take a shower. So over here I have cold water, which kind of sucks, but it's all right. I just keep the hot water always on, just so if I ever wanna, you know, take a hot shower right away, it's just ready. And then stepping outside of the bathroom, here, let me close the door. I have the front entrance. Front entrance is just where I keep all my shoes. Got my Dragon Ball Z shoes, Goku style. Big fan of Dragon Ball Z. Then let's step over here near the kitchen area, I could say. There's a sink over there. And then over here is my water. I usually buy these like five liter gallons of water because unfortunately you can't drink the tap water here. Some people do boil the water and drink it, but I usually just Go with bottled water. Usually that's what a lot of people do over here. And something interesting about the kitchen area is it doesn't have any stove tops. Also, unfortunately, that in China a lot of apartments are not gonna have stove tops. So what people usually do is they buy these electric portable stove tops. You just plug in the wall over here over here for example and then you just cook your food like that. Which is a little bit inconvenient, but still gets the job done. There we got the refrigerator over there, washing machine on the left. It's kind of broken, but it's okay, it still does the job. And then yeah, have some meat over here, gonna make some nice beef quesadillas tonight. And over here is where I actually dry my clothes. You see my clothes are in this thing, if I just like, uh, I'm just gonna zip it up real quick and show you. If I just like put my clothes in this thing, zip it up, and then I turn on this thing at the bottom, like shoots out hot air over here, and then it just dries my clothes. It usually takes typically about a few hours, which I do miss a real dryer, but it's okay. And over here is like the main area of my studio apartment. I got the bed over there. I got my Eminence Cool Guy blanket over here. It's very comfortable, especially in the winter over here. It gets to like like 50 degrees, which is about like low digits in Celsius. Also have two chairs, coffee table right there, one table over there where I usually just keep some of my watches, some vitamins. Got another table there, great for doing work on. Nice stand. And have cabinets over here, which can fit in a lot of stuff, which is great for one person or even two, it's fine. And then over here is the curtains, and then if you open up, you can see outside. Also, it comes with an AC unit. Not all apartments in China are going to come with an AC unit. Something to keep in mind. This apartment was actually remodeled, I heard about like two years ago, which is cool. It looks brand new. The thing is, the paint on the wall, they do bad paint jobs over here. It's easy to like get messed up. Like, I just lived here for like a few, I want to say like maybe like five months now and the paint's just pretty bad, but that's come standard with the park. You can even see over here, the paint's really getting bad. I need to tell them to fix that. Something that I do want to point out also is that in China, most of the apartments come furnished. That's awesome because in America, you're not gonna find an apartment that's furnished typically. 
But here, for the most part, all the apartments come furnished. So it was awesome because I just came in here literally with my backpack over here. That suitcase, I just, you know, came and moved in. The only thing I did buy was my TV over there with the stand. And, you know, just house items like my vacuum over there. But yet, yeah, this is basically my apartment.